What's up guys, Cerebro here for T3G. And Full Throttle. And uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to be, this might this might turn into a regular thing. Uh, I'm, we're thinking about calling it T3G Talks. Uh, and today, uh, since it just was announced a couple days ago, uh, we're going to talk movies. Specifically Marvel's Phase 3. Uh, we've been having a bit of a debate about what's going to be happening. Um, so we wanted to kind of share that with you guys and maybe hopefully get uh, get some information and get some insight from everybody else that's out there that, that's digging these movies. Now, um, if you don't know, uh, Marvel just yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, just yesterday announced... Feels um, like the same day to me. Right. <laughs> uh, just yesterday announced their Phase 3 lineup. Uh, and it's uh, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, uh, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Inhumans, and uh, Avengers 3, which is Avengers Infinity War, uh, is part one and part two. So it's going to be split up into two movies. Um, so you're welcome for we're technically getting that a uh, technically getting an Avengers 4, but uh, it should be interesting to see how they split that up. Um, so you know, a lot of people noticed that Ant-Man wasn't on the lineup because Ant-Man is coming out after Avengers. Um, they did announce yesterday that Ant-Man is the last movie in Phase Two. So potentially setting up the next events. Um, I don't know, it's weird. Ant-Man's kind of been a, a strange project for me. Well, I mean, they like teased it eons ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> literally. Uh, what, maybe 2009? No, 20, 2011. No, it's got to be older than that. Oh, 2010. Let's look it up. Let's look, look it up. up. But I mean, they announced it. They gave us the little teaser. The same guy d that was originally helmed to direct it did the teaser too. And then now he's gone. But, yeah, because it was uh, uh, Edgar. Edgar. Uh, wow, what's his last name? Or maybe Edgar is his last. Name. I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Edgar Wright. Yeah, Edgar, Edgar Wright. Wright. Edgar Wright. I was gonna say right, but I felt like that was wrong. <laughs> Um, and base, but I mean, listen, the guy, the the thing's been in plans. They had a teaser for a very, very long time. It was gonna happen. They just didn't announce it because maybe, you, and to be honest, it could be they know it's gonna be there, but it's having issues. Obviously, they did lose Edgar Wright, who the man who's been wanting to do this for a very long time and was putting his own spin on it and was excited about it, and then they just lost him. So, um. So yeah, I mean, there's. I'm not surprised they didn't mention it, but we know he's gonna be there. I mean, they didn't say it was canceled either. I mean, they for a long time confirmed that Ant-Man is being made. So, you know, they could have easily said, "Oh, you know what? We canceled this project." But right. they did. They have, right. Well, so. I mean, I, I, that, that that's not Marvel. I mean, Marvel's not canceling any projects anytime soon. They they Listen, they clearly have a plan. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, <laughs> Feige is uh, is the man with the plan. You yeah. know, and. I like that he came out yesterday and basically said, um, uh, what's his face? Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch is not confirmed, but he didn't say that he's not going to be playing. Right. He just said he's not confirmed. Right, because it's final so, negotiations. Final so negotiations. They're not going to Got to make sure you get them extra exactly, zeros at the end of that check. Exactly, exactly. We don't... Listen... I'm a huge fan of Robert Downey Jr. before he was Iron Man, all right? Mm -hmm. Way before he was Iron Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. Uh, when he was just, you know, he was known for some of his roles, but barely known because yeah, he was really he, known he, for his drug stuff. Exactly. Drug yeah, he was known for, for having substance abuse so, problems. So, stuff you don't want to be known for. But I'm sure they don't want another thing to happen with him, with money-wise. So they're going to make sure yeah. the contract is right, right, right well, the bat, so that way there's no... No, right. I mean, we don't. We don't want to lose another Terrence Howard and have right. uh, Don Cheadle wearing a war machine armor. Listen, I love Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle is the man when it comes to Fantastic. that guy. That guy is amazing. Downright actor. amazing. But Terrence Howard was Rhodey. Yeah. Listen. Don Cheadle wearing an, a war machine slash Iron Patriot armor. Meh. I mean, it's not even him wearing it. It's just the whole character. Don Cheadle is a shorter person. He's a smaller person. He doesn't have the Cut. He even though he that tried, cut, every, even he tried. You know, a little bit. The, he tried, a little he bit. tried to because you saw. You know, they they shaved the side. They left the top, but it just it wasn't the same. It's, it's not a fade. It it's wasn't not a proper top. It was a high top fade. So, um, it, but listen, at the end of the day, I'm sure 
Benedict's in, they're just making sure the final negotiations are done before they announce. Because I, th it, so. I think he's one. He's one of those guys. Now, I, again, everyone that's kind of walked into this, except maybe well, listen, Chris Evans, knew that hey, this is going to be a line of movies. This isn't. Well, one, yeah, Chris, two. Evans, Chris Evans knew because he came in and he's like, listen. Why I'm, does not mean like I'm not signing this contract until I'm 100% certain I want to be exactly, in three or exactly. plus movies. Well, I just mean, I, I think he was the only one that was that had reservations about that. Like He knew, oh, absolutely. He knew it was going to be several movies, I, I, and I, I he, he was you. like, mm, I don't know if I want to commit to 10 yeah, years exactly. of one thing, exactly. and, which is prudence and, and you know definitely understandable. Listen, but, actors want to do other things. For right, instance, right. you know, he wants to direct. So. Which is cool, which <laughs> is know? cool. Um, but, you know, I think... Cumberbatch has already been signed with uh, BBC for Sherlock oh, for God, so yeah. many years yeah. that I think he understands going into something for a very long project and very long process. I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be cool with it because I think yeah, I don't I, I don't think I don't see I, I don't just think, think I, 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 like you said I think it's very much a matter of making sure he's got enough zeros. I think it's just making sure that contract's right, basically. Yeah. You know, if it's maybe like, oh, you know what, I'm going to do one or two movies, then I want to do my own thing, mm -hmm. then I'll come back and we'll do some more movies. Absolutely. You know, it might not even be the zeros. I think the zeros might be there. I think it's just like, hey, I need enough time. Right, because Marvel's got the zeros. Because right. I mean, Marvel think, slash Disney I'm has sure got the zeros. I'm sure they're not worried about the zeros. Um, <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and talk into... We were talking about Civil War, guys. We were talking about so, yeah, Civil what War. exactly is going to be with Civil War. Uh, his uh, theory, well, I mean, you could say it, but well, here, I'll say it for you. Here, here's his the theory thing. is yeah. Cap versus Iron Man, all right? Which is what the comic books Which were is about. What if, the you don't know, about. if you don't know the comics at all, uh, Civil War, at the root of it, was Iron Man siding with the government... Um, to to say that superheroes need to register, they need to be trained, they basically need to be glorified police officers. Um, and Iron Man or Captain America rather um, said, you know, that's that's infringing on people's civil liberties, people's privacy needs to be protected. And I mean, it, it's somewhat the argument we're having in real life these days. True. Um, so a lot of that centered around Spider-Man and which side he chose uh -huh. um, and obviously we're we're not going to be see seeing that on screen as much as no, as much as rumors fly around Sony it's not gonna is not going to give up that out dude come on i mean even though like they mess up sometimes listen i like Spider-Man 2 i hated how they pushed Harry Osborn but Spider-Man 2 was a oh, fun overall, movie. it was a decent movie, Spider-Man yeah. was Spider-Man. It was exactly what I wanted to see on screen. His comedy, the way he moved as Spider-Man was top-notch. Even bringing in Electro the way they did, I think, was perfectly mm -hmm. fine. Uh, the only problem I had with that movie was there was no mention of Harry Osborn in the first movie, and then in the second movie, he's a friend, and then he's the enemy. It all in two and hours. He's, and, he's, and he's like a work. lifelong friend. Yeah. Like, Peter walks in, and he's like... Hey, buddy. I wanted to be there like, for you. Right. Like, oh, you were there for me. When was he there for you? But regardless, that's a tangent. Anyway, but, you do those. But here's my theory. My theory is because let's look at some things that we've already seen, right? In Iron Man, he's always against the government. Always. Iron Man 2, Iron Man 1, Iron Man 3, all of them. He never was with the government. He was protecting people just like he wanted to, but he did not want the government to get his hand, get their hands on any more on the technology he was making with the suits. Um, so that's one theory. That the reason I think that's not going to happen, where it's uh, Tony Stark versus Cap. The other reason is the way everything's been playing out in, and I'm going to say this, Agents of Shield. <laughs> I hate that show, guys, but I'm still watching it. I'm still giving it a chance. Um, but every, the way everything's playing out in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I feel like it's going to be the government and the people versus the Avengers. I feel like it's going to be the government trying to force them in everybody, just like in the comics where everybody's being, you know, asked to reveal who they are and that kind of deal. Uh, and where, the way everything's playing out, it just seems like it's going to be the government versus the Avengers or you know shield or whatever you want to call it and also as well Kevin Feige did say specifically this is Civil War the cinematic not Civil War the comic yes so, yes and I don't think it's gonna be as large and as involved I mean obviously it's just gonna be in one movie I think it'll play off Avengers 2 but 
it's just one movie, and I think. It, it, it's not obviously it's not gonna be as big as it was. It, it sure. can be. There's just no possibility. Well, it can't be. It. I mean, we're talking about Captain America: Civil War. We're not talking about Avengers: Civil War. Clearly, Avengers is set for something else, which is Thanos, which is what I call. <laughs> but here, here's here's the thing. Here's my theory. My theory is this. I I think and I, I think you can see part of the setup for Civil War in Avengers in, yeah. in the trailer for Avengers. Oh yeah, for because sure. you see you so Ultron obviously comes from robots. Um, he, Stark was obviously building robots based on the Iron Man design. I think he was building what is in the comics known as the Mandroids right. uh, to replace Iron Man because well, we he, did, he did stop being it. But if you look at I mean, we saw Mandroids in Iron Man 3. I mean, he literally brought his entire suit armor. Right, but it, it, so in the comics, Mandroid, Mandroid is armor. Mandroid is armor that he gives sure, right, he gives right, right, right. Uh, to, to kind of be, you know, beef them up a little bit. What I think is in Avengers 2, we'll see because he quit being Iron Man in, in Iron Man 3, uh, I think what we're going to see at the beginning, which is a, what I think that scene where you know Ultron kind of comes out and crushes that skull, I think we're going to see him building the mandroids to like replace Iron Man in the presence of Iron Man, but what's going to happen is, obviously, he, you know, Ultron shows up and his technology kind of fails him. So what I think he's going to do, I think he's going to try to side with maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. or maybe try to get in on rebuilding S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, because I think he's going to have a moment of crisis where he's going to say, my technology's failed me. Like, everything I've done is failing. You know, I need more structure. There, you know, and, and I think he might even go so far as to say that others might need more structure because right. of the destruction we're going to see in Iron Man, or in Captain America, in Avengers. Avengers. <laughs> because, of, I mean, the fight with Hulk... Obviously, it's still a toss-up whether it's Ultron controlling the armor or if it's Stark. But I think it's Stark. I think what happens is Ultron sets off the Hulk and Stark has to bring him down. Because that's why you see that scene where they're on the Quinjet and, you know, Bruce is huddled up. Because I think it's right after he calms down and he is just distraught over what's happened. Because there's that scene where Cap is looking out over the city and there's just, like, destroyed buildings and pieces of buildings have fallen off. I think it's because of the fight between Hulk, Hulk the Hulk Buster, and Hulk, um, and I think that's kind of where Stark's going to lean towards. Is towards the end of Avengers, I think we're going to see the setup for Civil War with Stark saying that because there's not some sort of formal organization for them, because obviously Shield's gone, you know, gone their separate ways, and at the end of Avengers One, they all kind of separated and did their own thing again. Because they're not an organization and they're not kind of, you know, training and working together and being together, I think that's going to set off the the infighting between between Cap and Tony uh, in Civil War. I could be wrong. I I just think I think it'd be weird to call it Civil War if it wasn't a conflict between heroes. Right. Well, here's my theory. Uh, actually, kind of playing off what you said, my theory is that it is actually Ultron that's fighting Hulk. Mm -hmm. uh, with the Hulkbuster suit and all that. I think that's actually fully Ultron controlling it. I think what we're going to see in the beginning of the Avengers 2 is what we saw at the end of Avengers 3, or uh, Iron Man 3, which is he gave up being Iron Man. He took out the, you know, what was keeping him alive. He got that all resolved. Uh, and then uh, on top of that, we saw that he already has technically Mandroids, uh, even though they're not 100% like they the were comic. They were remote control armor. They were, they were remote control armor, so I think what we're going to see is in the beginning of Avengers 2, we're going to see that he's built an AI to control the armor now. And then we're going to watch, you know, maybe Hulk loses it somehow, maybe it is provoked by Ultron, I don't think it is, I think he might maybe just snap due to something happening, and then you see you see basically Stark deploy Ultron to go take care of it and then after the fight is when we see Ultron in a beat it up suit grabbing another suit that's on the ground where they're all chilling and he, he grabs the head and he tells them how they're not worthy of grabbing Thor's hammer because they're all like puny stupid humans and then I think that's that's the scene after Ultron fights Hulk in the 
uh, Hulkbuster suit. I think that's why you see him all battered up in, in that beat up suit. Mm. So that's okay. what I'm thinking. Okay. That's what I'm thinking at least. That's I it. could be wrong. I mean, who knows? That could be the last scene of the movie. That right. literally could be a that, comedy that, scene they showed us. Well, not even a comedy scene. That, that might even be something along the lines of what happens in the comics all the time. Right. They, they destroy Ultron and then Ultron comes back. Right. So I mean, that could be... That could be part of the setup for, you know, Civil War. Who knows? Although, I will say this. Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Spader. Spader. What's his first name? David. Dave. Is it David? David Spader. Okay. Well, I love him on Blacklist, and to hear his voice is all trying that was is, fantastic. Is, is menacing. It's I mean, strange a little bit to me that it wasn't at least a little bit roboticized. Right. I, I feel like there should have been a little, at least a little I think metal might, tinge. I, honestly, I think we might hear it more you in might, the movie. You might get it in the movie. Yeah, because I, 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 I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, they've probably been working on it for a little while, but I don't think they've gotten all, everything in that needs to Because, I mean, that's probably, I mean, that's, in, in the grand scope of things in an Avengers film, that's probably like an a, a easy last minute act. Right, I mean to change his voice a yeah, little bit. Yeah, like, oh, we have this I'll audio track, that. apply right. filter, done. Uh, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I think Avengers are going to be fantastic. I think Civil War is going to be very good. I, put, I don't, put like, it this way. Cap 2 was really good, it'd be really hard to beat that for me. Here, let, for me, let, me let me say this. I, and I know this kind of, maybe crappy or stupid to put together, but DC has two big superheroes colliding in a movie coming up. Mm -hmm. Superman v. Batman, okay? Or Batman v. Superman? Did they use Batman first? Whatever it is. Batman v. Superman. And then, I would not be surprised to see Marvel have the same thing going where they have two superheroes colliding. Not necessarily throughout the whole movie. You're thinking there wasn't even a script until... No, I, no, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, I mean, I'm they waited for DC to drop their listen, information. No, no, like, no, no, right, that's so not what I'm saying. Do. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Clearly, it's happened in the comics, so that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, though, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep it that way. So if you're saying, keep it what you're is, saying it I could be comics. right just because of that aspect. Absolutely. Because absolutely. it's coming out I mean, a month if apart. You're, I mean, if you think about it, What's more entertaining, two superheroes going at it, or government versus superheroes? Right, Obviously absolutely. the two superheroes. Absolutely. I don't care if it's Superman, Batman, or if it's Captain America and Iron Man. It just, well, I mean, at the end it, of the day, it's two superheroes that don't click. You know what I'm saying? Right, they don't have the right. same mentality. And well, I, I think it's. I, I think. I think. I, I. I keep going back for for Captain America three. I keep going back for to uh, to what John Campia said on on AMC Movie Talk. Um, people have been waiting. Decades to see Batman versus Superman. Oh God, yeah. Decades. Yeah. This is something that, even if you've never gone to see a superhero movie, you're going to see Batman versus Superman because it's Batman versus Superman. Even if you don't read comics and have only seen like the old Tim Burton Batman movies and the 1980s Superman movies, right. even if that's all you've ever seen, you in still your want head, you in still your head, head, Superman versus as Batman soon as you see Superman. that first trailer, you're gonna say, "Oh my God, I need to see that." Yeah. Oh my goodness! Like that's gonna be. I can't wait. I, I'm I'm shocked. It's been oh excuse me. It's been a few months. I can't believe they haven't released that teaser they showed at Comic Con. I cannot believe. Listen, it. listen. I mean, even Marvel. Let's say for on, example, on, on a short, on a short. Let's, let's be serious though. Avengers, Ultron, Age of Ultron. They it leaked. It leaked online, and what did Marvel do? They're like, eh, screw it, let's just do it. Twenty-five minutes later, they're let's like, let's just do it. HD let's version. Just, you know, don't, don't play it. around. We're not even gonna. We're not even gonna wait till the uh, the episode premiere for uh -huh. Kingdom of Shield. We're just gonna go ahead and release. That it. was last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I wonder what came out because they were supposed to. Well, like, see, there's the thing footage. though. What you? Yes, they did add more footage. That's what I was saying. You didn't probably see it. So in the beginning of the trailer, you see all of them sitting together. Thor puts his hammer down. I was wondering why you said that because yes. I hadn't seen that. Thor puts his hammer down and they're all telling Thor that they could all pick up his hammer and he's just sitting there and looking at them and smiling and then first first Iron Man goes in, okay? He has his glove on. Well, first he tries to do it normally and then he puts on a glove. Then you see Iron Man and Rhodey trying to lift it with their gloves on. <laughs> that didn't work. The gloves don't give and them then, superhuman strength. Right, right. And then Cap comes in and you hear a little click, right? And Thor kind of changes his style and his face, thinking because like... Because 
and that's Cause, that's cause, a nod. That's a nod to comics. But Captain America picked up the hammer one time, right? Because Cap is pure-hearted. I mean, let's be serious. He's, he's worthy. Only, he's, he's, he's worthy. The only thing he's ever wanted, not revenge, not vengeance. He wanted to just be somebody that protects people. That's it. That's um, there's a great moment it, it, to kind of cross universes. There's a great moment in Avengers versus uh, JLA um, where everyone's kind of trapped and Superman is the last man out, right? So everyone's like, here, take take my take my weapon, take my right, thing. Right, right. So Cap gives him his shield right? because it's, it's an indestructible shield. So regardless of being Superman, an additional you know form of support sure, is sure. going to be good. And Thor throws the hammer at him. And he said, I thought you said... You know, only the worthy could could pick it up because he tried picking it up earlier, I believe. Right. And Thor says, uh, "My father's strict, but he's not stupid." <laughs> um, it's like because sometimes, sure. some somebody's going to need to right, do it. Right, right, right. So, so that's but, uh, it, it was a great yeah, moment. So, oh, I think Superman would have been killed. So after that, uh, after uh, after Cap tries to pick it up, uh, I'm sure most of the people have already seen this. So after Cap tries to pick it up, right, and he gives that little, like, hmm, maybe, and then, like, it doesn't happen. Then they look, uh, uh, Hawkeye says something funny to Black Widow, and she's chilling there, and she's like, oh, I don't need to know. <laughs> like, that's what she said. Right. I don't need to know. And then they try to, Iron Man says, or Stark says something about, well, maybe we just need Thor's fingerprints. And then Thor gets up, tries to say something funny, grabs it, flips the hammer, and that's, um... And then he, uh, or actually flips the hammer and he says, maybe you're just not worthy. And that's when you, uh, just as I was explaining it. Stupid. DSLR. I love the quality, but I hate this. All right, so I'm going to finish up real quick. So Thor flips the hammer. He says, maybe you're just not worthy. And then Ultron walks in and he says, you know why you're not worthy? And then he insults them, grabs the thing, starts crushing it, and that's when the trailer starts. So that's what they added before what you see okay. online. Okay, okay. So, hey, that's pretty exciting, that's pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, but they're literally all chilling in Starks. I'm guessing this is after the Hulk battle because you don't see Banner. You don't see Banner. Um, Banner's that's, not there. It's possible, but there is also that scene where um, you see Banner kind of freaking out in the woods. Right. Um, so Banner might have, you know, been on seclusion and something set him off, which is, like, they might go from that to the, the, the Hulk. But that's why I'm thinking, no, nah, because I'm thinking it's after because Ultron's completely beat up. He's in that beat up armor. So I think it's after the fight. But it, mm, they might, ah, they might, def we'll they see. might stop, we'll see. They might stop Hulk somehow. Ultron's beat up, they get him back in, he, they think he's getting repaired, and then he comes in all villainous. Which is, listen, at the end of the day, it's gonna be I awesome. can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. I will fantastic. say this, I loved Avengers, I, and I know we're going to get a lot of flack because I'm about to say this. I loved Avengers, I really did, and it was a great comic book movie. To me, I loved Man of Steel more. I'm crazy. I didn't. I'm crazy. I did I know, I'm crazy. But I liked Man of Steel more compared to Avengers. I don't know why, maybe because I've just lately, well not lately, for the past, what, at least year and a half, two years, I've been Couple going years. nuts about Batman and Superman. Yeah. So, comic book wise, not the movies comic book wise. So, just to be, you know, just to see Man of Steel done really well. I wouldn't say it's done 100% right, but it was done extremely well. I loved seeing Krypton in the beginning, which nobody's ever shown us before. Not in that... Not in that much. Not in not that, that much. much of it, yeah. Uh, so... And in that detail as well. So it was great to see that. And, and I, so I enjoyed it a lot. I will say this. I cannot wait for Age of Ultron. I don't know if it's because Spader's voice and him there's, being all sorts of villainous. Well, what, uh, what I, what I find interesting is that they didn't, not that I saw anywhere in that trailer, did they even tease Vision. Yeah, there was no vision. Even not even know, a little bit. Even, although we yeah, know they revealed the, the the suit. Yeah, they not the suit rather the, the body. Um, they've you know it's it's been posters and all right. this stuff. It, but they, not even not even like a, a, a quick but, shot know, of the they, face or like, nothing. I don't think they want to do too much though. I mean, we saw I all mean, trying. There was a lot. Right, there was a lot. So I don't think we want to see. Or at least I don't think they want us to see that much in one trailer. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be literally showing us almost everything in one trailer. So, before we move on from, from Cap Civil War in a second here, the last thing I want to say is, in the trailer for Avengers, you see Cap's shield broken. Um, 
we're obviously dealing with Ulysses Claw, uh, which is Andy Circus. Andy Circus is playing Uly Ulysses Claw, who is then going to lead us into um, Black Panther. We're probably going to meet King T'Challa in uh, Avengers. I wouldn't be surprised. There's, I mean, we're, we're gonna have to because, but because, here's my question. because well, here's the thing: Cap Shield is a vibranium alloy. Right. Um, they can't. It's in the comics. It's a vibranium adamantium alloy. You but can't, they can't use, use adamantium. Right. It doesn't exist in this universe. Therefore, it's a vibranium alloy. So probably a vibranium steel, tungsten, something like that. Um, to the point of vibranium absorbs kinetic, kinetic energy, energy of all kinds. Right. Uh, and, and is very very durable. Right. The fact that it's broken is one of two things. Right. Either Claw's gun, which right. is a sound gun, overloaded the shield. Right. Um, or Ultron did by building a body out of. But here's my question. Out of vibranium. Here's my question. I was just I keep paying attention because it keeps giving me the sensor thing, so I, I want to make sure it doesn't shut off again. I think it's too much motion. It starts going nuts, and also if lighting changes a lot. Huh. That's what I read that DSLRs do that for those reasons, but whatever. Um, here's my question, though. In the comics, mm -hmm. I thought Ultron was out of adamantium. Well, he builds it out of whatever the strongest material is, which in the comics is adamantium, but right. obviously since we obviously can't do that. Obviously we can't use, I understand how it works. Fo Fox, yeah, Fox owns the rights Fox, to X-Men, yeah. which means they own the rights to adamantium, which exactly. means Marvel cannot use adamantium. Now, Although, I will say... And we'll get to this in a minute, but I think it's interesting that we, we are getting inhumans. Inhumans, right. So which means mutants, which means... No, 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 no. Inhumans are inhumans. Inhumans were before mutants. Oh, okay. Well, what? Uh, inhumans are built by the Kree, actually, which ties into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I'm thinking, well, we're on the, a quick side note... If I'm not I'm mistaken, thinking, was in Kree and Guardians as well? Yes, okay, yeah, so Kree, yeah. Kree was in the Guardians. But Kree seeded the universe with... Uh, uh, with uh, genet with their own genetics, right, right. and created uh, advanced races ahead of their time. Oh, okay. The Inhumans, uh, the Inhumans were created in a, a separate portion of of the world, right? Um, before even the rise of um, Cro-Magnon Man, right? Uh, either be either before the rise of Cro-Magnon or, or Neander Neanderthal, um, I don't remember specifically, um, but very early on in humanity's history. Uh, is when the Inhumans were created already as a full-on society with powers, right. with technology. Um, so I think it's interesting, and if you look at it on Sh Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., kind of a quick side note, right. If you, I don't care, this is all spoilers all day. <laughs> right, right. Um, they say Sky, Sky is not affected by the... the, the GH thirty eight or whatever, right? The mutant or the, the alien, the, the Kree alien DNA, because right. it was a it was a Kree. Yeah, was a, I didn't even a think Kree. about that. It was I a Kree body. Think about that. So she's not affected by the Kree DNA, and when uh, Raina says, "I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Sky to you. I'm gonna right. give you Sky," her dad says, "That's not her name." I'm thinking she's an Inhuman. It's possible. So um, that's that's kind of my little side. But I don't think she'll be in the movie though. But so. No, 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 I don't think she would be. I think she would be one of, just like, it would be a setup. Right. It'd be a setup. Um, so what I'm thinking is, with Cap Shield broken at the end of Avengers, p presumably at the end, uh, I'm thinking what we're going to see... Or in the middle. Who knows? Right. At, right. So, at some point in Avengers, it breaks. What I'm thinking we're going to see is either a whole new shield built, or what I would like to see, just because the technology and the graphics are there to kind of show it and make it work really well. Right. Uh, in the comics, when this happens, when uh, uh, Cap's shield is broken by... Hmm. I forgot who it was broken by. But he lost it. Right. He lo No, no, he lost it at the bottom of the ocean. He lost it at the bottom of the, of the ocean, so he went back to his oh, classic okay. shield. Classic shield, right. Classic... Uh, a uh, little semi diamond. I forget. There's a term for it, but he went back to his classic uh, World War II shield, and then he um, that got damaged. And Tony built him a photon shield. It was a, a, literally a shield made of light. Right, right. Uh, which in later incarnations uh, and previous ones uh, could actually be turned into like an offensive weapon. Right. Like a like a photonic beam almost. Right. Um, so I think that could be interesting. I think I would like to see that. I'm, I don't know if they'll. I go. don't. I don't think. I think. But. That I mean, in all honesty, they never revealed the process because that's the thing. In the comics, the shield is, is a one of a kind, can't really be replicated process. Right. Even if you watch the Avengers uh, TV series, it took you know that 
crazy Wakandan con contraption to like put it back together uh, after uh, Graviton, I think, broke it. Uh, they had it in that big, you know. Oh, you're talking about the animated series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Uh, they had it, it was even, all in pieces, and it took yeah, this whole yeah, huge contraption to put it back together. Because in the comics, anytime it's been it? broken, yeah, you have. Spoiler in it for me. Yeah, Look at that. Anytime it's been broken in the comics, it's taken either an immense amount of power to put, put it back together. Because the only time it's been broken has it's been like the Cosmic Cube, which right. in the movies is uh, the Tesseract. Right. Um, you, know, you know, Red Skull got his hands on the Cosmic Cube and simply like crushed it by sheer force of the universe or something. Um, so because it's so powerful, it's such a good defensive weapon. So I think that would be interesting. Alright, so we're going to get off uh, Avengers and Captain America. Here's my question. What I... My favorite movie of the year was Guardians. Is Guardians. That was a great movie. I it laughed. Was an amazing. I movie. saw it twice so far. I got to see it more times because I'm sure it it's was. Be the, I laughed both almost times. as perfect as a movie as Iron Man. I think I, the first yeah. Iron Man is is still I think the most perfect movie. Not only talking about comic book movies. I think it was the most perfect movie because it I've had ever a seen. it had a start and a finish. We didn't exactly. need it, Iron Man. You could have done nothing else. And it would have been great. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what me and you always agree on. We base all their all their movies that they release, we base off of Iron Man because mm -hmm. it was just a perfect movie. It had the right story. It brought the light of Iron Man. It brought Iron Man to us. And then it ended the story. It did not have to have everything else that came after it. And it would have still been a great movie. But we did great and obviously get other amazing sure, things sure. afterwards. But I want to talk about Guardians. All right. I this this could be a rumor, but from what I understand, you know, obviously they just announced it in this uh, announcement that Guardians Two is a hundred percent. But they also announced it basically right after the movie hit the theaters that weekend. They did. They, well, they, 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 they said, said they were going to do yeah, it. They, they this, said, this just gives us a date. Right. Exactly. Guardians Two was already announced, and there were rumors flowing around that we are going to see his dad in two. I think it might be Adam Warlock. That is what, you know, watching AMC Movie Talk, that's basically what I think Schnepp said. I think, I think either Schnepp or uh, Campia. Because the, the way they set it, the way they set it up in the movie is that the other half of his DNA is from a, an old power that we haven't seen in a long time. Right. Um, so it's an ancient cosmic power. Now they'll play with it one of two ways. Um, his mom obviously knew what his dad was, and she identified him as an light. angel made out of light. Light. Um, and isn't basically? I mean, I searched. I've never, guys. I've never ever read Guardians. I don't know Adam about Warlock. Warlock so Adam but Warlock what is I a very unique searched. Creature. Adam Warlock is a very unique creature. Right. Adam Warlock was actually a man-made human. Right. Um, so he has golden skin. Okay. Um, he always has, and but he's always been a very much uh, more. He's been very robotic. Okay. Uh, in that he, he he's like not no because he's yeah. Well, he didn't like grow up. Right. He has no real background. If and his like, and at the end of the movie, he said doesn't matter. His dad's a dick anyways. Right. 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 He's a, yeah. He's a, he's a he's a jackass. A jackass that guy's a jackass. Asshole. Whatever. Uh, I think I think Guardians I think Guardians will be really good. Um, I think there's not really a lot to go on right now. I don't. There's not really. Yeah, I mean we haven't gotten more than that. Yeah. You know, what have we got? I think it'll be cool. Little... I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be really cool again. Um, the mean, only we... thing we won't have is another. I mean, maybe not as awesome as of a soundtrack because there's no way for him to get more awesome mixes. Right. So we might. He's hear got the same. one. He's got one. Well, he's got two. He's got the one that right. He's got one new one. Right, one new. So one. he only had the one new song at the right. end. So there should be. I mean, how much? How much? How many tracks did a cassette keep? Oh my god, eight? I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, eight let me tracks go back made? to '98 when I was recording that stuff. Yeah, um, cassettes. Um, but, but yeah, so let's say let's say there's eight. Maybe let's call so it we ten might, tracks. So we might still get a decent soundtrack in two. Yeah, I think it'll. I mean, I don't think. I don't think they'll let the fact that it's not on a on a mixtape. Right prevent them from having a great soundtrack sure, from that time frame. So I think it'll be great. Um, but I think, I mean, as far as where they're going to go with it, obviously Guardians 2 has to set up. Because Guardians 2 is uh, May seventeen, May 2017, and Avengers uh, Infinity War, which will almost certainly involve Thanos, is May 2018. So right, it's so the year before. Right. 
So it has to set up. It has to set up Inhumans in part, and it has to set up um, Avengers, uh, Avengers: Infinity War right. Part One. See, um, so it, Thanos will obviously be in it. Yeah. They'll have to introduce Warlock one way or another. Uh, well, I mean, not not have to, but I think they will. Um, but that's really as much of speculation as you can go into it because Infinity War happened in the early 90s. Right. The current incarnation of the Guardians has only been around for less than 10 years. I think right. they started this series in 20, 2007. Right. So the Guardians that were in the 80s preceding the, the Infinity War were completely different. Okay. Um, a completely different group of Guardians. Actually, Yandu was an old guardian. Oh, he was a guardian. Um, he had a huge mohawk instead of the just a little thing on top. Um, Which I think they did him... No, that was fantastic. Yeah. I thought they did him um, great. But yeah, I mean, so it's going to be weird how, like, it, it's hard to, it's hard to imagine them not in, involving Warlock because he was a huge part of the Infinity War. So I think that's going to kind of bridge those two gaps. Uh, but from there, I mean, there's really not a whole lot of speculation to be made. Then you're really just saying, this would be cool, this would be cool. So, right. I think almost certainly we'll see Warlock. He may or may not be um, uh, Star-Lord's dad. And that's about it. <laughs> like, the, the, like, of course we'll see Thanos. And that's um, I don't think we have much else. Uh, do we have any confirmation who's playing Captain Marvel? Uh, no, they, they, they haven't announced anyone as far as who's playing Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel, starring uh, uh, Carol Danvers uh, as the lead character, will be um, coming out in mm, was it July 2018. Yeah. Uh, so July 2018, um, Captain Marvel. Look up. They. I, so it bothers me maybe a little bit of how Kevin Feige set that up. He said, "I want to be clear. the name The name of this Captain Marvel is Cap Carol Danvers." I don't know if that was like a preemptive defensive move based on the fact that the current Captain Marvel is a Middle Eastern young woman. Right. So I don't know if that was kind of a preemptive move to head off anybody who might see that in a negative light. Right. Um, and I, you know, as well, much as that, as, as much as email, they are, from what I understand. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, and, and that's that might be the other thing. So that's the other flip side of that. The other flip side is the original Captain Marvel was a man. Right. Um, so, which would make sense with the fact that they're they're dealing with Kree, they're dealing with Inhumans and the Infinity War. It would make sense for it to be the original Captain Marvel. Um, but I think they are going to be doing. I mean, obviously they are going to be doing right. um, Carol Danvers. So I think you're right. I think. Yeah. I, but just, I was, right away, as soon as I read that, I was like, I don't know if that's like a preemptive thing against people who are racist. I don't know if that... Right? Because cause some people, I mean, let's let's let, let's be real, um, there's a lot of people out there that would probably not be okay with that. And it sucks, it sucks to be them, and, uh, you know, they can kindly get off my planet. But, um, I, think, I think it is going to be, I think it's strictly... I think you're right. I think it's because they wanted to clarify that it wasn't going to be the original Marvel. I think it. Yeah, they yeah. They were just that. trying to clarify that it's going to be a woman and not a male. Thor Ragnarok. Uh, <laughs> I still don't know where the hell Odin is. Well, I, we're going to find out. I mean, yeah, that's, I don't that's, know where that. I, like, Odin at the end of Thor, Thor two. If you have was gone, watched it, was gone. I don't know. I'm sorry that we're going to spoil that for care. you. But yeah, I don't care. It's if not I that spoil he was. It. I mean, he was. He was gone. Uh, well, you don't know where but he I went. Mean, we don't know where he went. I mean, it did and you and know. it's not like Loki obviously had that Loki mischievous smile on him when he revealed that he was playing Odin. Right. But like, was that like a hey? And now I'm I'm sitting up here. I mean, for all we know, that could have just been a prank. Like Odin might have been taking a leak. Right. And he was like, "Oh, Thor's coming. Let me play a joke on him." Right. Because like, who knows? Um. So I think that'll be interesting. Uh, they said it's following. Uh, the events of Avengers very closely. Right. Um, obviously, we do see Thor going through some stuff in that trailer, so it'll be interesting. I mean, we might. It, it Ragnarok is the Twilight of the Gods. We might see the death of Thor. The the potential exists for that to happen. Obviously, in the comics, um, Freya has his mother take, has taken on the the role of Thor. Um, 
Oh, is that who's the yeah, female it's, Thor? It's his mother. Uh, um, and the, so I found out that, I haven't read it yet, but I found out that at the end of Original Sin, Nick Fury, the original Nick Fury, mm -hmm. uh, goes up to Thor, whispers something in his ear, we don't know what yet, and he's I think he's in space at the time, and Thor just like crash lands on the moon. Just like, just falls straight to the moon. Goes to pick up the hammer, can't do it. And he's there for weeks, and you know, they, you know, basically everyone's like, "Listen, we need you need to go. Like this isn't working. We need to get you off of here." And Odin comes back, and he's like, "Listen, Freya, thanks, thanks for holding my seat warm, keeping my seat warm. But uh, I'm gonna be back now. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be ruling Asgard again." And she just kind of walks over, picks up the hammer, and says, "There must always be a Thor." She gets Thor'd out, and that's that's kind of where we're starting. Hmm. So. It could be, cause but Freya is dead. In the, in the movies, Freya is dead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Freya is dead. So she definitely died. So, but it could. I mean, they could just be bringing it to a natural conclusion. He might get exiled from, from, uh, from Asgard. Well, listen, that's another possibility. I mean, we, so, we don't have much time left. So, he, I mean, well, we got some time left. Here's here's <laughs> what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. For Thor. Okay, how am I going to put that? We, me and you had a discussion about when to change actors, because at some point, the same actors are not going to play these characters. We're going to need new actors to play the same characters. As much as, I, as, my, as, my, as much as I want aging and, and senile Robert Downey Jr. to play Iron Man in the next 15 movies... It's not going to happen. Not that I'm saying that he's aging and senile now. I just mean, like, you know, 15 movies from now, he would be aging and senile. He would be 100 years old, plus. <laughs> Um, but maybe, I mean, that's, that's probably what we're seeing here. You know, we're going to maybe watch Thor, um, maybe they'll, you know, get rid of him somehow in a natural way, not maybe necessarily kill him, but maybe I, they like, might give him the throne. Right. And then we won't see him for a while. We might see a female Thor, not necessarily his mom. Right. But a female there's Thor. other options. There's right. Other there's always other options. Once again, so this is cinematics, this is not comics. Yes, are they taking ideas from the comics, but it's still a cinematic world. We mm. cannot, just like books, um, when people look at books and they're like, oh, yeah. why didn't they stay to the story? It's because it's a movie. Nobody's going to stay accurate to what you read in a book. I mean, even if you look at something that's, you know, near 100%, like Lord of the Rings series, they're very close to the books. I mean, right. expanding one book into three movies, I think, was ambitious. And, right. And, Huge, but they're very close to the books. But there's still stuff they left out. Tons of stuff they left out. I mean, if you watch the extended editions, I was like, "That's not me, guys." That's that's an alarm. It's time to wake up. Apparently, it's usually around the main screen. I had to go through like four. Dead interruption. Um, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things that. What was I saying? <laughs> I can't even remember. Listen. Um, oh, we were talking about cinematics, and you—I forgot what book you brought up. I didn't. Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord they, of the Rings. They, yeah, they, yeah. I mean, if you if you watch the extended editions, it's something like four or five hours of. I piece. mean, they're already and three hours, basically. Yeah, they're already two and a half to three hours regular cut. If you watch right. the extended cut, there's something like five, six hours. So when you watch the whole thing, you're dedicating a day to one oh, yeah. movie series. I mean, that's. I mean, if you, and if you watch all and if you watch all six now, then you're dedicating at that's least a weekend. <laughs> that's a weekend. Like, and all that time, they still skip stuff because they had to. It's a different medium. You cannot portray every nuance right. of that because look at it this way: some of the descriptions are visual, so it. You gotta understand, things like Lord of the Rings were written in a time where they got paid by the word, literally. They got paid a penny a word. Uh, up to five cents a word, depending on the book. Um, they they went into detail, and that's why you see such rich, beautiful worlds when they do Lord of the Rings movies. Because you don't have to like come up with, how did this look? No, you have two pages describing how, how the Shire works, looks. Right? You, have, you, you have ten pages describing Middle Earth and its nuances. That's why they're this thick. <laughs> right, they're gigantic books. Um, you know, they, they took years to publish because they came out in chapters, in series. Right, so bottom line, they're not gonna, it, it's not gonna be word for word, it's not gonna be scene for scene, you're not gonna see 
the things you've seen in comic book pages and what you read is not what you're going to see cinematically. So it's just things are going to change. Are they, you know, taking most of the story and trying to do it as best as possible? Absolutely. I mean, look at the first Iron Man. Yeah, that was a phenomenal, and that was that was a combination of a few elements of a few different series, right? Uh, you know, a few different retellings of the origin, but it was a fantastic but it origin was a, story. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, uh. Man, that production budget, guys. The production budget. One of these days, we'll get a camera uh, that on. Um, I think it's the lens. Um, That's the next purchase because I I hear because this lens, from what I understand, is mainly for photography. I guess there is lenses with different sensors for movies. Makes so sense. I Makes think because we're moving so much with our hands. Could be. That's why that's going on. Uh, um, so uh, that's what I expect from um, Captain Marvel and, and Black Panther, really good origin movies. Now, they have said that they're kind of, and this might be rumor again, but they have said that they might be moving away from the origin movie um, so we might not see a, a how Captain Marvel becomes Captain Marvel. They might throw that into Guardians too. But see, I wouldn't. And I would that. not be mad at that at all. Honestly, if they gave me two minutes of Captain Marvel in Captain Marvel, like, hey, he's Captain Marvel. This is why, and bam, be done with it. I wouldn't care. Yeah, if you look at the Incredible Hulk. Or I'm was, sorry, I'm sorry. Why she? Yeah. She if you look at the Incredible Hulk, Hulk, that was probably one of the best handled origin stories without dedicating a chunk of the movie to it. It was the opening credits. Yeah. So it was just a bunch of scenes, great music, and you figured out what happened. I really, honestly, I don't even want to talk about Hulk because I loved The Incredible Hulk. Uh, I know there was some issues with Edward Norton and him they, writing the script and no, stuff like that. No, that's supposedly not what happened. He just came out recently to say that he didn't want to dedicate a large portion of what we were talking about earlier. He said he didn't want to dedicate a large portion of his life to one project. Hmm. Okay, well... That's that's, that's what he... Like, like three days ago he said this. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it was, last it was time good. I heard, which was a while ago, I heard I, that's that... That's the same thing I heard. He wanted, like... Uh, Full creative, creative control and writing well, not, credit not and all this stuff. control, but, like... He worked on the script with the writer, but yeah, he, wanted he, didn't, writing credit, he, didn't, he wanted He didn't write as much, so people basically, the people that judge if you should get credit, it's not even the studios or the yeah. directors, it's actually like separate from writers the don't. movie. Yeah, the writers. Uh, don't yeah, much. the writers, yeah. And they didn't want to offer him because they didn't feel like he did that much work to deserve the writing credit. So, and that's at least that's the rumor that I heard. But whatever, it is what it is, you know, it didn't work out. But it was a great movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was directed really well. The, the way Hulk looked was amazing. It was fantastic. It was amazing. And, and at the end of the day, it's like you had all that great, great stuff. Oh, yeah. Great, great everything. And they took five minutes of credits, gave you an origin. If you had no idea about Hulk before, you figured out how yeah. he got to be Hulk. Move on with your life. You have a great movie experience. Yeah. And I think, well, because we're they said we're going to see Black Panther in costume in Captain America Civil War. By the time we're on Black Panther, we're probably dealing with an all-out situation in Wakanda. I think it'll be a completely different locale for us, um, and I'll be very excited about that. I would hope that by the time Black Panther is around, maybe Shield's back up and running, yeah. and I'm sure by then they they he might have some support from maybe Cap or somebody, uh, maybe just for a scene or two. Right. Well, I mean, but I you... think I think it'll be a great movie. I would love to see the, the 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 scene change. I don't want him to spend a lot of time in New York just because yeah. most of these movies are happening yeah. in New York. So I would love for this to happen in I think we will in see Africa that. in Wakanda, and I think it'll be fantastic. I think we will see that, but uh, and I think you know we'll definitely see Shield up and running a lot sooner than that because I think you have to just because of Agents of Shield. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they're not really agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if S.H.I.E.L.D.'s not really fully back up and running, you know I, what I'm saying? They'll, so, they'll have to have it back so up. So they'll have to have it go up. But I think, honestly, I mean, this video's going on for a very long time, so I we're going to have to... I don't care. we got two more movies, and we'll talk about them real quick. <sighs> Inhumans, I think, is going I mean, to be... you spoke about them, Inhumans, though. Well, I just want to... Well, well, yeah, as far as what they what they are and how they came around, I think what, what Inhumans is going to do is it's going to give us the final gem, the final Infinity Stone. Well, what's the, what's the date on that? Uh, it's it's right before uh, Avengers. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. Um, no, I lied. It's actually right after the first Avengers movie. Okay, so that's not possible. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. So that might be a standalone. At least it's just gonna be that a might set up Phase Four then. Yeah, that's a possibility. Or or it might tie into Avengers Two. Avengers or, uh, Part Two. Avengers Three Part Two. Right? <laughs> Avengers Infinity War Part Two. Yeah. So 
Infinity War is May 2018. Inhumans is November. Captain Marvel is July. There are three movies coming out in 2017 and 2018, which I'm super excited about. May 2019 is when the, the last part of Infinity War comes out, and it would stand to reason that we're going to see, if there is a Phase 4, movies 1 and 2 of Phase 4 come out in that time frame. Well, here's the thing. I mean, unless Disney and Marvel, which is the same company, but whatever, I just said it. Unless they, yeah, unless they lose all their money. They're uh, gonna but maybe not even lose. lose all their money, but maybe for some odd reason they lose interest in the properties and they don't want to do any more no. superhero movies, which I can understand from Absolutely. a creative perspective. Absolutely. Uh, but I think as long as they keep making the money they're making and keep getting there's the no reason not they're to. getting, there's no reason there's, not they to. won't stop. So... Unless there's no reason not to. There's reason, there's literally forty years of stories honestly, to go through. Honestly, if for some reason by Avengers, um, part or Avengers three part one and two, at some point there they're losing money for some odd reason, then you might see them reconsider doing Phase four. But otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and say they're doing Phase four until I see otherwise. Absolutely. I mean, look what they did with Guardians. Guardians was not a known property. Not Let's at be all. serious. Not at all. I mean, yes, were there a lot of people like yourself that have read the, some of the comics Absolutely. or even a lot of the comics? Yes, they knew what Guardians was. Most other people were like, oh, it's something Marvel's releasing. Yeah. That's all it was. I knew Guardians of the Galaxy. I had no idea what the actual story was. I knew the title because I knew about comics because I've had comics in the past, so I, I knew the title was from the comics. And I knew some of that, you know, Star Lord and some of that stuff. But I never knew the stories. Right. So I was excited just because it was Marvel releasing another comic book to life, basically. So Avengers, and real quick, I think Avengers one part one, Infinity War part one and two, I think is gonna have that crossover. I think Guardians will be in Avengers. I don't see why not. Infinity War. I, I don't mean, see why. I, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not all of them. No, I mean, but I think I think Star Lord. I think between those two movies, and even maybe between Inhumans, right. because if they play it right, they could have Thanos acquire five out of six right. gems, you know, in, in in part one, and then needs the sixth gem happens to be right. at the Inhumans. You see, that's kind of their thing, and then in part three or part two, they 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 finalize the whole story because the Infinity War is all about the stones and. That's kind of the, the big thing that we're focusing on in those movies now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't really, I honestly, I don't have much else to say because I can't say much for Captain Marvel. Um, I don't know the story about the female version at all. I knew a little bit about Captain Marvel from what I saw in the animated series mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I don't really know much about Inhumans except for what you've told me. Uh, I knew, I've known about the title and I've seen it before uh, on a comic book, but I've never had any you know knowledge of the story whatsoever but i am excited for those two because once again i, I just mm -hmm. even though i don't like agents of shield as much as some people do uh honestly i mean marvel overall can't mess up i mean yeah. even if they literally release the most crappiest version of any comic book movie with one of those they still honestly i don't think they could still mess up like even if they half asked in humans, I, well, he, he, I don't think really they could. Hit, I don't think they could mess yeah. up. Yeah, and I, I don't think they will. Because no, what, they what, won't. What I'm really excited about. So besides the movies that are already, besides the series that are already movies. So your 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 Captain America, Guardians, right. Thor, and Avengers. Those already have standing titles and title screens, right? And they're based somewhat on the on the comics. Um, the the titles are Doctor Strange. The title, the actual, the the title imagery is based on a really good line of books. Right. The, the, the time frame that that title's from is late 80s, early 90s, and that was good times for me. Um, maybe because that's kind of when I was reading comics and stuff, but from what I know and from what I recall, that was a really good time in, in, to be a Doctor Strange fan. Um, Black Panther, that logo is taken from when they started the Marvel Knights series in 98. Okay. Um, and that was a fantastic series. I, I think that was say, the Marvel first... Knights was pretty that was it. Might have been the first, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, that might have been the first Black Panther series. If not the first, it was definitely the best at the time. Um, and then Inhumans again, same thing. They they took that. That's my dog. <laughs> they took that title from the the Marvel Knight series again. I think it might have been the first 
uh, long form Inhuman series uh, by Jay Lee, and I forget who wrote it, but it was a fantastic book. And I mean, if they even touch on that series, that'll be a great series. Right. Right. Well, I think we're just gonna end it there, man. Yeah, it's a long video. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the long video. Um, but we, we've got a lot to say about it. We, there was a lot to cover. I mean, there's even more to cover. We could talk for that, about this for multiple hours, uh, but we don't want to <laughs> make you guys sit through that. And I'm late uh, for work, so yeah, and uh, he has to go to work. So basically. We're going to be doing these videos. Obviously, this channel is still tech stuff, guys. Uh, this is just something else that we like to throw in. Maybe, you know, catch somebody else's eye that likes to enjoy these kind of talks and, you know, maybe see other people's opinions of what might happen or what the movie's about. We Mainly, it's just because we talk about movies all the time we, and we argue time. about it. And, and I'm like, we should just make these videos because we, we, we do this, we have this argument anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. it's not even just arguments, it's debates, it's, uh, you know, what he liked, what it's I liked. It's not conflict. What, it's not a conflict. <laughs> According to one of our T3Gers. Uh, well, the only other the one that's not here. The only other one that's not here. Uh, this is not a conflict, it's just a debate. It's just a debate. It's a just very debate. loud debate. It's not a conflict. <laughs> But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. I, we hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, look for look out for some more of these videos. We, Me and him, we're huge movie buffs. We love to watch anything, even the B-rated movies. So uh, just keep a lookout on it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. See you guys.